I should have done this a long time ago. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy ThunderBuddy29 here. And yep, I am back today with another video. And today, we are going to be talking about something, like I said, I should have talked about a long time ago. Why does Instagram suck now? Why is Instagram not as good as it used to be? And today, we are going to cover on a couple of things that has really hurt Instagram so badly within the past couple of years. But before I begin, I just want to say I hope you enjoy these types of videos. And if you do end up enjoying this video, make sure you hit the like button down below, hit the subscribe button, share this with your friends, and hit that little bell in yes. But anyways, now let's start the video. So why is Instagram bad today? Well, for a lot of reasons. But there's two, well, technically you could say three, that really bother me the most. These three reasons alone are pretty much the reasons why I don't really post anything on Instagram anymore or use it. So let's start with reason number one, and number one, favoritism. So if you were subscribed to my channel back in February, you may have heard of this story. But to anyone who hasn't, I'm going to mention it again because this is like the biggest example of favoritism I have dealt with by Instagram and probably the biggest pieces of bullshit I've ever dealt with by Instagram. So this all happened around Christmas time last year, where you had the Omicron variant of COVID spread like wildfire, and everyone was getting sick around Christmas time. So then LeBron James makes this post of Spider-Man's pointing each other, like, was it COVID? Was it a cold? Was it a flu? Because everyone was confused. Like, did I have COVID, or was it that or that? So I reshared it to my story because... I kind of thought it was facts and I kind of thought it was funny at the same time. And what does Instagram do 10 minutes later? They take down my story and they said that I was quote unquote spreading harmful misinformation. Meanwhile, I go back to LeBron James's profile and that same exact post was still up. So Instagram will go as far as taking down my story, but they don't take down the original post that I reshared. And even to this day, that post is currently still up. Like, that was so bullshit, it made almost no logical sense at all. Somehow, an account with, like, 40 followers presents more of a greater danger than an account with millions of followers. It's like, oh my god, guys, this account with 40 followers is spreading so much harmful misinformation. It's going to hurt us all. Hide your kids and hide your wives. But meanwhile, LeBron James, with millions of followers, it had over 2.5 million likes at the time. That post doesn't even get taken down at all. Like, that was so bullshit. That was probably the biggest bullshit I've ever dealt with by Instagram. And that was the biggest example of favoritism I've ever seen. It was a bigger example of favoritism than what Corey Kenshin had to deal with. But with all that being said, this will take me to reason number two. And number two... Bullcrap accusations. This has been a very common thing that's been happening on Instagram for the past couple of years. Mostly this year. Like, for example, they made that bullshit false accusation of me spreading misinformation when that was not even my intention at all. However, I'm going to use a different example this time from a YouTuber by the name of Poofizier who had just recently uploaded a video titled how he almost got banned off instagram and there were three things that happened but i'm only going to use one example according to him he was in germany for vacation and while he was at oktoberfest he had posted a photo on his story of fish hanging off sticks and shortly after he posted that picture instagram took it down claiming it was hate speech now this makes no fucking sense at all how is this hate speech Meanwhile, at the same time, I've actually seen people who are posting actual hate speech and they're doing this on purpose and they're targeting a group of individuals. And most of the time, these people are getting away with it scout free. Like, don't you see the hypocrisy in this? Like what I just mentioned, how me and Poofizier were falsely accused of violating the terms of service when we were not even doing that at all. Meanwhile, people who actually are, are getting away with it. Like that is just complete bullshit. And number three, probably the biggest reason of all, if you've been subscribed to my channel, you are pretty much know what I'm going to say. And number three, bots. 
I mean, it's no secret, bots on this platform are so fucking bad. It's so out of control. Even though I praised Instagram for at least trying, but they did it far too late. They did it to a point where it's now completely out of control. Hell, I've been through every kind of bot there is. Little bit of sex bots, big old scam bots, bots that invest in crypto, and bots that give Five grand to the first five people. Shoot, they even stole my account. Not really though. But the point is, it's just an example of how fucking out of control bots are on Instagram. Instagram is like a fucking tropical paradise for bots. And it's not just one kind of bots. It's multiple different kinds of bots. They're all like clones of each other. I mean, in general, bots on social media have been so bad. Even here on YouTube, they've been out of control. Gotten so bad, there's been like over 100 people I've known in like the past three years who've gotten hacked. Even people I've been like close with. And the reason why people continuously get hacked on Instagram, it's because they continuously click on these links from random people they don't know, and it turns out being a scam. It's the same thing that happens on YouTube. Once you click on that link... All your information, including your account info, will be compromised. And I'll tell you what, to anyone who currently actively uses Instagram, I will tell you again, do not click on that link. Avoid it at all costs. But to close this video, Instagram, you need to get your crap together. You need to start actually taking action against people who are actually violating your terms of service instead of going around falsely accusing people who actually aren't. And if you're going to take down a story because you either don't like it or because it spreads harmful misinformation, maybe you should take down the actual post from the actual person who posted it in the first place. Be fair about it. And the bot problem, which I do appreciate them at least trying to fix the problem, but I do not appreciate how long it took them to respond to it. Because they should have responded to it a lot sooner than they did. I'll tell you what, Instagram is definitely not the same like it used to be. But what do you guys think about Instagram today? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. But before I go, I just want to quickly take this opportunity to thank all my lovely channel members listed on screen. You too can join the channel membership today for less than 10 cents a day. You get a special loyalty badge that tells everybody you're a member of the channel. You get top priority reply to comments. And you get member shoutouts at the end of each video as a thank you for supporting the channel. Become a member today. Link in the description below. But anyways, this concludes today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button down below. Hit the subscribe button. Share this with your friends. And click that little bell to not miss another video. Follow me on social media. I love you all to death. I appreciate all the support you've been giving me. As we had just hit 5,230 subscribers. I love y'all to death. Thank y'all so much for watching. And please don't forget to like and subscribe for more. And until next time, I will see you all in the next video. And this is ThunderBuddy29, signing off.